Hi everyone, I hope you are well. We're going to wrap the Valentine's Angel Tarot card deck for a message for us all today. So I'll read three cards and I'll also read the base of the pack for an overall picture of the reading. And I'm asking the angels to please bring through any messages for our highest and greatest good for the collective to please please bring through anything that we need to know at this time so there we have one two and three okay so the first one is the queen of earth now the queen of earth is very skilled very practical she is the queen of her domain she knows how to manifest and she is stepping in now we're coming on the new moon and it is to really set your intentions place a crystal write your intentions out Place a crystal over the top of your intentions. It could be your master crystal. Any crystal that you've got an affinity with, place on the top of your intentions or your wish list. And every time you look at your wish list, feel how you would feel living those the life of your wishes being fulfilled. Feel it every time you look at it and that infuses the crystal and it... it Every time you do it, that energy goes out into your energy field. Ace of water, new relationships, falling in love. So this is a, a, a new love for life. It, this new moon is coming in and it is bringing a breath of fresh air and this is good relationship. This is a relationship coming in or it's already in your life. And it is to really focus on, first and foremost, self-love. Making sure that we are not going out of alignment to overcompensate or please someone. Or we're going into a place of need and worry. Uh, that is That then projects and takes the relationship out of alignment. So making sure that we're nice and calm inside, we're enjoying all relationships in our lives not just romantic relationships but all relationships in our life becoming our own best friend really not settling for anything less than what makes us happy but that as well not putting an expectation on anyone and not taking it personal if things don't turn out the way that we want them to then we come into disappointment and then that takes the relationship into a lower vibration into an old pattern this card is confirmation relationships come in enjoy them don't put expectation on them don't put judgments on them know that you are worthy of love and anyone who has you in their life is truly blessed so take that in feel blessed and feel that anybody who is in your life is blessed to have you there and then the third card again is the seven of fire we we've had this now for three times um i think on 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 for, for three days and this is defend your beliefs stay in love stay focused you're the queen of your life you're the queen of your domain manipulate your energy so if anything comes up any anything less than love that you rise above it anything judgmental you rise above it and that's not saying that we are above anyone it's just we're rising above any lower energies hooking in and pulling us down because that's all it does it hooks in and then we start to overthink and feel things it rise above know that everything is working out exactly how it's meant to this is about our passion this is about our careers so stay in focus don't be looking at loads of things that you want to do pick up what you're good at pick up what is your gift what what is your uniqueness your gift and stay focused on that regardless of anybody else might not understand it and that's okay rising above our own 
limiting beliefs as well the queen is above all those limiting beliefs she knows that she is limitless she knows that there are infinite possibilities the seven of fire is there keep hold of what it is taking that one step staying focused on what it is that brings you joy and only focus on that and allow everything else to fall away and the ace of water love coming in letting go of all the past now letting go of all all the past memories of painful relationships and things going wrong and not trusting relationships this is these little errors coming up these thoughts of having that doubt that we'll ever find a, a loving relationship let all that go because those beliefs become self-fulfilling prophecies let them go now focus on self-love that will bring you an alignment to bring love into your life you're the queen or the king of your domain you have everything within you to manipulate that energy and to send it forward and and this is when we're in complete harmony within ourselves and within everyone around us that brings in the most potent energy for our wishes to be fulfilled those seeds that we start planting now on the new moon we start to focus and intend and feel how we would feel living the life of our wishes being fulfilled and then we have oh, the king of earth wow so i did say the king and queen of earth so there he is the king and queen of earth complete balance and the king of earth is is the midas touch king solomon if you like everything that you touch turns to gold and that is in a way that everything that we love we, everything that we do we infuse that love we infuse that passion into it and it it manifests into something beautiful it manifests into divine abundance and we've got the two we've got the king and the queen so this is perfect balance keep yourself in harmony keep yourself in alignment we don't need to focus on anything that we don't want in our lives we don't need to focus on that we don't need to focus on what anybody else is doing and if it does create a little bit of um a niggle or a, a trigger just realize is this worth is this worth my dreams not coming into fruition any little niggle because that's all it will do it will pull us down into that denser energy the king and queen are there they know they they know how to manifest they know these little arrows these little niggles only block and smart and and create a, a a challenge and it we don't need to look at them we don't need to get entangled in them just take a deep breath knowing that everything is there within us to achieve our wishes our intentions and this is love falling in love think of the life that having the love of the, your your life like you're having the love of your life in your life and finances coming in and you have that peace of mind and everything in your life is just flowing beautifully and how nice that feels and yes we're living in a human place so things do come up but it's how we deal with them we don't take them on and start over analyzing we actually put them down and let themselves sort out and stay focused on that vision and moving forward in light shining your light on your path with your beautiful thoughts so we have two nine ten eleven a gateway we're moving through this gateway eleven is a master number it's a, a creation we're moving through a, a gateway a doorway into a higher vibration into a, a higher dimension and we're stepping into that visualizing this moment letting the past go now letting it all just go and stepping forward through that doorway 
into infinite possibilities, into expansion and love. Just to make that commitment of letting go of the past now and stepping forward, carrying no baggage from the past. So I'm sending so much love and healing to you all and I hope you're having a beautiful day. Enjoy the energies coming in with this new moon. They're going to build and build and build and so will our intentions. So I'm sending so much love. Thank you. Thank you for listening. God bless.